Jesus. We bless your name, we bless your name, Jesus. Shela de de shandari de asa. Sanuramandika reda suramanda de de de. Sedede de asata. Welcome, welcome again. Facebook, YouTube, Zoom to Bethlehem House of Prayer International Service. We welcome you again to another one of our devotional services and we just invite you to worship with us today as we lift up and exalt the name of the lord and worship hallelujah so we bless your name father we bless your name we bless your name father you are worthy of all our praises you are worthy of all the honor we give you glory today, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your keeping power. We thank you, Father, for your power that preserves. We thank you, Father God, for your power that sustains. Father, in the name of Jesus, many other things that could have happened to us. In the name of Jesus, things that we haven't seen, Father God, but the things, Father God, that you had foreseen. And Father, you protected us, you guided us, Father, in the name of Jesus, your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, kept us um, from all harm and danger, Father. And we thank you. We thank you for your power that blocks off, Father God, every demonic force, Father God, force of darkness uh, that rises up against us. We thank you for your spirit, uh, which your word declares in the name of Jesus, uh, will rise up a standard against the enemy whenever they come. In the name of Jesus, uh, like a flood, your word declares that your spirit... Uh, will lift up a standard and we thank you father today for your spirit in the name of jesus we thank you father today for your love in the mighty name of jesus your love that is so unfailing your love father god that is so unconditional many other times father god that we have been father god so unfaithful father in the name of jesus many other times father god when we turn our backs on you father in the name of jesus but because of your grace your mercy and your unfaithfulness feeling love father god we are standing on top of our grave today in the name of jesus with the ability to lift our hands to lift our voices father and to give you glory to give you honor and to give you praise father in the name of jesus and we will not hold back today lord in the name of jesus but we will pour out worship in the mighty name of jesus we will exalt you we will give you honor we will praise you father god because you are deserving in the name of Jesus you are deserving you are deserving of our worship you are deserving father God of our honor deserving father God of all our praises father in the name of Jesus and we worship you we worship you we worship you come on let's lift our hands in the presence of the Lord and give him glory give him honor in whatever way you want let it be spontaneous come on just worship your father Sanderiando Shakara, Maso Brande Lebesato, Milan de Brande K Sanderianda Sata, Rama Mama Sanderiasa. Just lift up the name, the name, the name that is above every other name. Ramos Kata, the name that holds power, anointing, deliverance, healing, the name that is a strong tower, the name that we can run in and we are safe. The name Kamo Shakande Briasa. That every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. At the mention of the name of Jesus, make Ramando Sadada Balebando. Come on, do you love him? Do you love him? Do you love him? Do you love him this evening? Shanda lebe sande biando shana na na male sata reba sande diasa. Come on, lift up your voices in the presence of the Lord. Rama se brando sande diande shana na na mase sheda da 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 baso ramando sande ando sa. Come on, let's experience his fullness this evening. Let's experience his fullness this evening. Ando male sande riando shana na na mande. We worship, we worship, we worship you, Jesus. 
Sebian desa nana nama Sebian desa Ramandos kana nama Sakomodo let the worship drop Rebus kana mandesian Dadadadada baso Shana nana mandesian Dadadadabasata Whatever you have to pour out to him this evening Nebosanda nana masanda Dadadabasata Even though it could never be enough Rakos katania dosata Just laid at his feet Just laid at his feet Zebro kandalia dasambros kana masata Zendoriana Let's experience and debria sata the fullness of our father reba sonda daraba sata express yourself to your father this evening mesondi ande sana nana maserande sana ande sana no mo saeka sana nana mandori ande sando ramande sedere bi ande sana nana nama sanda Reba sata, let the rivers of living water flow from your bellies. Reba skana mando siandera. Sana na 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 masuta. Come on, pour it out to your father this evening. Shedere di ando sata na na masata. Touch his presence this evening. Yeah. Shando di ando sana na na mandesa. Sene ne ni ando sana na masata. Let your worship rise. Let your worship rise. Let your worship rise. Let your who is like Ramos and Nana Masata unto our Father? Zendi and Osana Nana Masata, who is like unto our Father? Sandari and Osana Nana Masendi and Osa, Sheni and Osana Nana Mando. We bless your name, we bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, we bless your name, O Holy Father, Yesha. Shana na na ma ekandere yandeha. Let it be spontaneous, whatever comes from your mouth, whatever flows from your belly. Rando si andere yanda, sandere yandosa. Zebi yanda na 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 ma sendi yandosa, na 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 ma zodi yandeha. Shedere yandeha, let's worship in spirit and in truth today. Zemi yandosa, na 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 ma andeha. Say ya 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 ya. Shere di ande, shando di ande, na na masora. Shere di ande, shana na 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 mando di ande, shana na 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 maya. Shena na maya, shando di ande, kana di ande sa. Come on, let your worship rise, let your worship rise. Whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is, come on, pour it out, 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 shine it. nothing without you Lord we're absolutely nothing without you Jesus we're absolutely nothing without you Lord you Jesus no 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 nothing nothing without you Jesus Malo Santa Dia de Ramasandia oh yeah 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 Santa na 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 mayo Santa Dia de Kemande Dia de Santa na 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 mayo Santa na na mayo Jesus 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 Kill me and this, son, and I'm a no. Should 
Let me under. Come on, how many know that without God? Sebriando Sata, we are completely nothing. And for that, Father, everything that we are, we render unto you today. In the name of Jesus, all that we are, Father, we lay it at your feet. And we say, Lord, we surrender. We say, Father, we surrender. We surrender. We surrender names. We surrender titles. We surrender, Father God. In the name of Jesus, whatever knowledge, Father God, we think we have. Surrender it before you, Lord. In the name of Jesus and Father, we say, Be lifted above all other gods. And we sing, Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crowns and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. Yes, Lord, we lay our crowns, Lord. And worship you. Somebody help me sing. Oh, be lifted. Oh, be lifted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Above all other gods. Above all other gods. We lay our crowns, Lord. We lay our crowns. And we worship you. And worship you. Sing, oh.
we worship, we worship you, Jesus. We lay our and worship. I just want to share something short. As I was in work this week, working and listening to some worship, I heard the Lord spoke to me. And he says, Sham, many will not experience my fullness living lavishly in the fullness of themselves. And many other times we seek, we seek answers, we seek breakthroughs, so many things that we want to get over and sometimes unconsciously we keep going in our strength we going in what we know all right we know we know the scripture we come to church we listen we hear the pastor preach we listen to the worship but when we leave here we still live in the fullness of ourselves even though we say we surrender father we surrender to you how much of you do you surrender to him what are you really surrendering to him can you leave this place today and the crowd that you are around this week can 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 they see you lift your hands and worship him can they see you glorify him while you're in their presence and not in the presence of, of your church family how much of you have you surrendered to him we will never be able to experience the fullness of our father while living lavishly in the fullness of self he say if you love me then deny thyself pick up your cross and follow after me how many of us speaking to myself too how many of us are truly following him And this is one of the reasons why I chose this song this week. We lay our crowns, everything that we are. And we worship, we worship, we worship, we worship you. We worship, we worship, we worship you, Jesus. We worship, we worship, we worship you, Jesus. We worship, we worship, we worship you, Jesus. We worship, we we lay, we lay, we lay our crown, Jesus, and we worship. We worship, we worship, we worship you, Lord. And worship you. Come on, softly sing. We lay our crown. And we worship. And we worship you. We And worship you. See, we lay our crowns, we lay our crowns, and we worship and worship you. We lay our crowns, we lay our crowns, and we worship. We give you all that we are, Jesus. Just lift your hands and give God your best praise. Hallelujah. You are worthy of it all, Jesus. You are worthy of it all, Jesus. Sanana 
else like you, nobody else like you, Jesus. There is no one else. Somebody help me sing, you are great. You are great, yes, Lord. You do miracles, so great. There is nobody else like you, Jesus. From the rising of the sun till the going down of the same, Jesus. There is nobody else like you, Lord.
Jesus yeah we celebrate Jesus yeah man de sanoria de sangue sana man de sana de sana na na mayo pa Ele 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 
We have gone horizontal enough. We are going vertically and we are going to the depths. To the heights, to the depths, to the widths we are going. All limitations are off. Nearly. Let all that have asked to hear. All limitations are off. Yes, Look at go ahead, guys. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout victory. One more time, victory. Somebody shout freedom. somebody a high five before you take your seat share come on give somebody a high five oh, no. hallelujah no no hallelujah Hallelujah. Oh, there is freedom in this house. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Wow. Were you blessed by the worship this evening? Wow, wow, wow. Hallelujah. Wow, wow, wow. Every person in the worship team, stand up, please. Everybody in the worship team, stand up. Can he go now, Gondela? All of you. Join hands. All of you. Find somewhere. Come. All of you come. All worship team, come right here. Join hands. Sakita Mana. Join hands. <laughs> you have a long hands on. Uh, hey, Charlotte. I see you there, girl. Hallelujah. Join hands. Join hands. And when you join hands, I want you all close to one another. Nikata. Amen. Close. Charm. Not just a wife. Close. <laughs> when deliverance is happening, the link angels come and there's no space between them. When the judgment comes, Camila and Bukunil in Ghana. All in the worship team, close your eyes and lift your hands up. Kahipe. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. Where we are going as a church. No person in the worship team can be an observer. None. There is a sword that is laid over Trinidad and Tobago. 
As the one that the Lord wrapped the flag around and said, I give you this land. You don't talk about that, but tonight I talk about that. Where we are going. The Lord said, concerning this sword, that the glory is coming and descending, but before the glory comes, judgment comes. Judgment first begins in the house of the Lord. That which ascends to him from this house would not be entertainment. Will not sing songs. Conflicts would be dealt with internally and quickly. Offenses of hearts. I've asked the Lord. I said, Lord, show me their hearts. Just as he showed me the hearts of every member here. Show me the hearts of the worshippers. Show me God. So he told me to tell you tonight that there is a new level of breaking. Kian, you should be here. You're part of the media, right? Jordan. Kion. Join the hands. And go close. John, go to the next side. Don't disturb them there. Let's go. Pass all, don't disturb them. Let's go to the next side. Clame, yeah. There is a fire purification that is coming down upon this worship team. The lips that loves to rebel and those that life love to be stubborn for stubbornness sake oppose for opposing sake. The sword that is over this land starts in the house. And you are the ones that literally heralds us into although we come inside already but you are here to take us even deeper a word to the wise the worship has nothing to do with none of you we are not here to adore you we are not here to look at you there is one that is beautiful to behold there's an audience of one so it's an honor that you have picked us to be able so let Judah go first Kitana let Judah go first father today in this house we stretch our hands to these your children they represent Judah going first but it's a battle how could Judah go first send the archers send the horsemen no let Judah go first today I pray God we pray we lift up every heart in this media team worship team before you those that are present and those that are absent living God as you have said and spoken you said just release them into my hand as Anna offered Samuel back to you today, Keleto, come past Kati Mama, me, bo, ke, deke, minia, ashe begunia, sambekana. Today, as Anna offered Samuel back to you, Lord, as on the shepherds of this house, as the stewards of this house, we offer. Lord, with this assembly, we offer this team back into your hands, God. In the name of Jesus, let the filtering begin. Let the brokenness begin now in the name of Jesus. Do it for your glory's sake. And do it for your honor's sake. In Jesus' name, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. May I have your seats. <laughs> you know, that's what I love about God the most. When he gave me a very nice buff, 
He said to me that let the first voice you hear and the last voice you obey be mine. And I found that you can have all junior church. Okay. Look at the man preaching here. Look at keep them a little bit. <laughs> Do not be too quick to leave the presence of the Lord. <laughs> Joking, man. <laughs> yeah, and I have found that a day he said to me, he said, I'll tell you this. When I was crying and weeping because I was not, I thought, I dealt with him commonly. Where I took for granted his anointing and his presence. And he reminded me. He said, why I correct you because I boast that whenever I correct you, you obey. So, and that's the testimony I have with you. Whenever I correct you, you obey. And to this day, whenever he corrects me, I obey. So I'm always listening. In the midst of what I may prepare, I'm always listening for what he is saying. Not just what he said. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. But how can you hear if you're not listening? So I made a statement here. I don't normally talk about it. Don't do that at all. But I felt tonight to do it because of what he wants to do and is doing in our land. Some weeks ago he told me let the church fast for seven days. I said it on the air. Many send their names and I contacted everyone. Only those that I could not get through with, I did not contact. And leave that same thing. That's him. Go back to it. Yeah. And to those who I did not get through with, Everyone expected me within the seven days to come and say, okay, this is what God's saying, do this or that. In the seven days, he told me nothing. So I'm feeling kind of bad, you know, because Pastor Jama, I said, try there. So, but babes, you told the nation and the nation is waiting on you to tell you. But what can I tell them if he tells me nothing? So should I make up something to tell the people because they have a demand to hear from what he say. So on Thursday, while praying on the air, we were praying and I want to tell the church this. Please stay praying. Please stay fasting. Make time. Make time to pray. Make time to fast. Amen? So while praying, I remember we were praying and I said, Lord, just as Moses, when you, you came up while men ran from your presence because the earth was quaking and fire and all of that and men ran from you. Joshua and Moses came to you and you went up into the cloud in the mountain the word says where God was before going up then you went up on Mount Horeb when Moses came up on Mount Horeb and you given, gave him an assignment that was to set the generations in order so while praying on Thursday I said Lord the nation of Trinidad and Tobago have been waiting. Today while we pray, we ascend into your presence. Lord Moses came down and changed the generations. I said, Lord, the nation is waiting for your direction, your voice. And we prayed and I came. 
So I came over here prepared to share on um, identifying demonic attack. When I sat there, I realized that he said, no. I want you to go and talk about marine spirits. So I'm, it's okay. Then I start to feel this excitement. And when I came into the worship inside of here, we had a worship that I cannot describe. The kind of, the presence that we had, even just some I'm out there and I am watching something and all of a sudden my iPad has cut off clean. I said, you can't stop what's happening today. Cannot. The Lord has sent the answer for the bloodshed in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm telling you. He has given us the answer. That's why I told you. You see, most of you do not know my assignment. So many of you are offended with me because you don't know who I am. <laughs> Before she married me, I told her the man that she's married. Most of you don't know who I am. So that's why who you know is the man that gets upset at times that all of we do. And, uh, I will not even tell you the character in scripture that God tells me I am. I will not tell you the day I'm going to die that the Lord told me years ago. Did you not tell my wife that? But I'm not leaving now, Smolly. <laughs> well, I tell you, I'm not leaving now. He gave me an age, but I discussed it with nobody. But I'm not leaving now, Smolly. <laughs> but sometimes the things in life make you feel like if you know what <laughs> so he gave me an assignment I remember most of you would remember when the you have to stay with me till about 8 30 today when they had the, the the prayer the revival on 98 when there were certain prophets to speak I was not one of them. I didn't mind at all. Because I'm hearing the big guns' voices. Names of the big guns. The Masons and the Duncan's brothers and so on. But a day I'm home and he walks into the room. And that's on my face. He said, you have not received the assignment I give to you. And none of us when God shows up can lie to God, you know. He doesn't even speak and point like that, you know. He stands up there and he's talking to you and you're talking to him. So I started to cry. He said, why would you receive the assignment I give to you? And he gave it to me more than 10, 4, 12 years ago. He said, will you receive this assignment now? I said, yes. Cry. He said, okay. Tomorrow they shall call you and tell you that they, will, they want you to become one of the voices to prophesy to the nation. Tell this nation this. The next time I'm outside cleaning the yard, I got a phone call. Hey, Gavin boy. Um, we, the, the four of them, the four persons that's supposed to be there, one of them would not be there. So we want you to come and prophesy. It's okay, thank you. And I start to cry. So then tell Pastor Jim, the Lord said, I'm sitting right here the day when my time is coming to prophesy. I'm sitting here trembling because I'm hearing these men talking deep things that i glad to hear. I'm glad to hear. So I'm saying what I'm going to say will sound so odd. But I'm there shaking, sitting right here at the table right here. And right before the announcer says now, um, Pastor Thomas, I saw a man bear back while here with the short pants comes out of a forest and looked up and that very moment the lord said speak i said the lord said to this nation you have been praying you have been fasting and you have been asking for revival and the lord asked he said many of you have built your own altars many of you are pursuing filthy lucre Will I be asked by you? He said, you are hypocrites. Listen, I'm crying, talking, and crying. Because every word comes out like, and I, listen, I'm trembling, crying, crying, crying. And one person here was a witness to all of that. And I'm crying. So when I'm finished, I want to run, I'm shaking. I felt like a prophet of all. 
And many times I feel like that. The danger of moving away from is trying to measure your anointing under the father that you had. Our fathers that we sit under, we can be limited by their ceiling. We receive from the fathers, yes. But then we have to receive from the father of fathers. What the Lord did with Joshua, he did not do with Moses. But yet Joshua would be in pursuit of God. Moses would go back, Joshua would be there. Moses pointed his rod. Joshua had a man step into the, into the Jordan. Every generation, the anointing is supposed to increase. So if we limit ourselves to the, the ceiling of the fathers that fathered us, then we'll go around in a circle. 40 years. Seeing things happening but going nowhere. Same position. So I've learned to, I've tried many times to think. At times someone will say, you sound like your spiritual father. Vertically. But I don't hear that. Some will say, you sound like your brother. I hear that at times. But the thing is, every minister is unique to their generations there is space for everyone so my limitation was that but i have not experienced what my spiritual father experienced meaning i'm thinking what i've heard is the limitation and then i start to experience some things that the lord started showing me but you're experiencing this that 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 I heard him talk about God walking into him, walking and talking to him. I've experienced that. I've experienced angels teaching me to dance. I've like, all these things. And he said, but you have been living. He said to me yesterday, something so simple I want to tell all of you. We make a miracle spectacular, right? He said to me yesterday, he said, what you have been doing, just do it. Do it. To all of you who have experienced miracles, we measure miracles by what happened because of occasion or because of how we feel. What you have been doing, do it. What you have been doing, do it. It sounds so simple. He says, what you have been doing, do it. But just stay close to me. <laughs> so, he said, I want you to go and tell this nation that's Thursday. Because while I'm here and all that anointed is so strong, he said, I want you to talk about, he wants to talk to us again about marine spirits. It's not the first time. You see what happens, right? From God, I get to know from God. He shined the strongholds of Satan's kingdom. So he told me, I want you to write a book on thoughts. See, every generation needs to know. The 90% of Satan's stronghold is his access to your thoughts. And then he says, the marine kingdom. Let's go see something. You're, how many of you have had dreams either in water, walking on water, you know you can't swim, but you're swimming in a dream. How many of you have dreams at water? How many of you? There's a few of you. I don't remember all the dreams. <laughs> That's one area Satan always tries to intimidate you by the sea. Always. Because let's see why. Let's see why. Let's see why. I'm going to find a scripture here. Let me find a scripture. A few scriptures actually. Somebody shout hallelujah. So no one was outside. He said, no music. Let everybody pray in tongues. Normally we pray with, say no music. Let everyone, musicians, everybody pray in tongues. I don't know why, but we are doing what he said. Amen, you with me? Amen, amen. I find a scripture I'm looking for here. La man se prakamandaya. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Give me Exodus 20, 3 and 4, please. Let's see. Exodus 20, 3 and 4. You shall have no other gods before me. Go ahead. You shall not make for yourselves a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. So, it shows us that there are three spheres or, or, or three dimensions where earth, heaven, and the sea. We read in, um, you have to go with some scriptures with me, right? I will not read all, I'll just read some. Some of them. Kamela Basakamada. Shemba Simonda. We read in Revelation 17 verse 1. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and talked with me, saying to me, Come, I will show you the judgment of the great harlot who sits on many waters. We have read many a times about the queen of heaven. We know that there is no queen of heaven. We have read in certain verses the queen of the coast. Okay, Revelation. Go tell me Revelation. Let's go to Revelation. Um, mm. Okay, go to Psalms 135 verse 6. We are going somewhere. Psalm 135 verse 6. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does. In heaven and in earth. In the sea and in, the, in all deep places. So we have found a fourth dimension that we have not seen before. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does. In heaven and in earth. In the seas and in all deep places. I think it's Revelation 12, 12. If I remember. I think we got it. Yeah? Revelation 12, 12. Let's see. Therefore rejoice, all heavens, and you who dwell in them. War to the, the war to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knows that he has a short time. Satan's kingdom is not next to God's kingdom. Satan's kingdom is in the center of the sea. We never read let's go up to hell. Why do we read let us go down to hell? Ignorant persons say hell is right here on the earth. But you can call the experience that if you want. But the reality is hell is in the center of the earth. So we read that woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. So we are realizing that the sea carries inhabitants. So if you are talking about the inhabitants of the earth. So the sea is not just carrying fishes. Because the earth is not just carrying animals. So which means there are beings in the sea. Hello, somebody. So, his kingdom operates from the sea. Okay. Let's go some more. Let's go some more, right? I wanted to start earlier, but the anointing so strong that you want to just continue to worship. I hear this. Let the anointing flow. So one of the greatest spirits that is contesting with the destiny of man in the earth. The power of the waters. 
the power of the waters. Man, our bodies contain 70% of water. The earth contains 72% of water. If we study water in scripture, you'll realize that water talks about life. But yet the kingdom of darkness, okay, thank you. Just as how the serpent is not evil. All of us hate serpent, but some of you like snakes, not me. I hate snakes. But let me not say that. I don't like snakes. I hate snakes. Is it short? I don't want me to lie by the pulpit. I walk from here and I say, okay, I like snake. <laughs> nah, they're too creepy. Yeah. And just as how all of God's creation was good. The serpent was good. The waters that God created is good. But the influence, that's the thing. Because all of us, many of us are good. But the influence, what makes us bad. So, the waters being used by the kingdom of darkness. Okay, Lord says slow down. Okay, sir, slow down. The boss man says slow down. So, let's slow down, right? Um... <laughs> Just as there are mermaids, there are mermen. But all we talk about is mermaids. Do you all know that vampires are real? You think those movies, Dark Shadows, I think it's a joke, right? <laughs> so, So the Lord separated the waters. Waters above, waters beneath. So man carries water in him. He's literally surrounded by water. But hear this. Anywhere you can find water on the earth, there is earth. That sounds strange, right? Anywhere you find water on the earth, there is earth. So the Lord says, the heavens, the earth, the seas, and all the deep places beneath the seas. Okay, don't believe it. Okay, let me find a scripture here. Don't believe it, right? Beneath the seas. Listen. Job 26, Nahim Malakataya. 26.5, Job 26.5. Don't believe it. The dead tremble, those under the waters and those inhabiting them. The dead tremble. It happened in another version. Yeah. That's it. Those inhabiting them and those in the waters. Let's go on this journey. <clears throat> Excuse me. Every spirit being living in the sea or underwater is known as a marine spirit. Tonight I will not target, because Lord, I may leave that for another time. Soon. Where we'll understand the source of spiritual spouses. Our marriage's destruction is prepared in the waters. So he's exposing some things because he's carrying us somewhere to understand what is happening in our land. So the marine kingdom is the greatest kingdom of all demonic queen kingdoms. Why? Why only in that kingdom you're hearing about a queen? How don't you hear about the queen of the, the earth? And we hear her that Satan is the prince of the power of the air. But how of all things now in the waters you have the queen of the coast? Queen of the coast. The marine kingdom is one of the most varied and spectacular.
secular kingdoms created by God. As the Lord said on Thursday, there are depths in the sea that man will never go. Will never reach. Men reach Mars and everybody celebrates how much is good to reach Mars. But in a trillion lifetimes, man would never reach where God lives. <laughs> and God will not live in heaven, right? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created it. The Bible says that the Lord bows down and looks at the heavens. Look for the scriptures, you'll see. So there's an amazing beauty and diversity within this kingdom. Because the marine kingdom, the, 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 the seas represents God's wisdom. Everything he created was good. All that he created. In Genesis 1 26, the Lord gave man dominion over even the marine kingdom. We're not go there. But most of us know what Genesis 1. Okay, go to it. Because there's something God showed us on Tuesday. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Why is it that God will have them to have dominion first over the fish of the sea? If man is fashioned and man's body is by being fashioned covered with earth, why not have dominion in your domain? Why over the fish of the sea first? The Lord knows what he does, you know. Let him have dominion over the fish of the sea, then over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Why it is that our habitation is last? Because the greatest threat is that which functions from the sea. The greatest threat to mankind is that which source is from the waters. Clemani Catalina. That's the greatest threat to us, humanity. So, so he created the world to exist in three spheres. Heaven, the earth, and the sea. But then we are reading that there are deep places beyond the sea. <laughs> deep places beyond the sea. We, we have read that the Bible speaks in Psalms of the kings of the earth. It speaks of the prince of the power of the air. And then in Jeremiah, we read about the queen of heaven who's worshipped by burning incense. And then we read in Ezekiel about the great sea monster called Leviathan. So we have read about these things and we read it and we say, okay, there's no description for Leviathan. Ezekiel 29, 1 to 3. Ezekiel 29, 1 to 3. All right, I'm going good. In the tenth year, in the tenth month, on the twelfth day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh king of Egypt and prophesy against him and against all Egypt speak and say thus says the Lord God behold I am against you O Pharaoh king of Egypt O great monster who lies in the midst of his rivers who has said my rivers are my own I have made it for myself. Satan wants to claim the waters as his own. Have you realized that most sacrifices they entails water? You go to the Juju man, whether I'm a arrow, let me call nobody community here. Eh? 
Because let me say him coming to me and I pray for him. Let me not say nothing. Because I don't even know what I'm saying. Let me not say Whenever ever you go by the juju man, if they don't invite you to the sea, they always want to bathe you. Why? What is this about bathing you? If they don't bathe you, they give you something to drink. So, <laughs> plenty of you all remember and good. Watching Stefan turn up the idea. The man beat him with a broomstick too. <laughs> so he's referred to as the great dragon that lies in the midst of the river. He said in, in um, King James Version, my river is mine. I own it. I have made it myself. But we know that God alone is creator. Hello, somebody. Do you know that most of us here have been affected by... Okay, no. He said all. All of us here have been affected by marine spirits. All. Because in our minds, we are thinking water. Okay, go for that. Let's go. So... <laughs> Do you know many believers do not believe that they are marine spirits? Even though scriptures is loaded concerning spirits that operate from the water. Can someone explain what, explain what happens in the Bermuda Triangle? There is a lady, four books, I haven't read any, you know, when she was talking about the lady that was talking just about um, where there are certain portals but I know it's a portals in the air but there are plenty of portals in the sea too you know. Portal is an opening that takes you into another realm. A portal is just an opening but a portal can also take you into another realm. Let me change the words. So <clears throat> excuse me. Many believers do not believe Yet the Bible is very clear about marine spirits. Those who study the Bible will be able to see that there is a marine kingdom that operates. Isaiah 27 1. Isaiah 27 1. In that day, the Lord with his severe sword great and strong, will punish Levathan, the sleep fleeing serpent, Levathan, that twisted serpent, and he will say, slay the reptile that is in the sea. You see all them fancy colors you have behind there? You must give me a blank screen when you put it up. Scriptures, where you go practice that. But let's use the King James Version. <clears throat> I'll read it on the inside. King James Version. Okay. In that day the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Levathan the piercing serpent even Levathan that crooked serpent and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. It's amazing right that even in Revelation that the dragon that pursued the woman and the child that represent Jesus threw water to destroy the woman. The dragon threw water, threw water to destroy the woman and the child. But the earth, the Bible said, it's the second time we read in scripture the earth opening its mouth. The earth opens its mouth to help the woman and swallow the water. The child can also represent the church. This body on the earth now. That all that the, the kingdom of darkness that operates in the marine kingdom does. That the creation on the earth will assist us in our time of need. But for that to happen we must know our true identity. And accept it. It's one thing to know something. But do you accept that you are a son of God? That the winds can obey your voice? That you can speak to the mountains and they move? Do you understand that you carry God in 
inside that you are a son of God. We are sons of God. We are not sons that abandon that green places and our daddy home. Wherever you go, I've given you that, that land. Wherever you tread your feet upon, I've given it to you. Because whenever you step there, it's I am stepping there. Hello. We have been passive too long. We have been scared too long. We have been blinded too long. But the scales are off. That the sons of God in this hour are rising across the earth. Men and women that are not intimidated by the song of war. We were born for war. Born for war. Hamela katana. So why would God destroy a flea or something that is in the sea? Because we think it's a fish. But Leviathan is a spirit. It is the king of the marine kingdom, a spirit that functions. Behemoth, spirit, Molech. Do you know? Okay. First Kings, let me find it. Okay, let me go there for time's sake. When the Bible talks about Dagon in First Kings, when they brought the Ark of the Covenant next to Dagon, the depiction of Dagon is half human and half fishing. Okay. There are some things we read in scripture we don't understand. The same woman Rahab that helped the spies. Let me tell you what Rahab name means and then I'll read one verse here. Rahab name means breath. Her name means storm and also arrogance. Her name means mythical sea monster. Okay? Let's go to Psalms 89 from verse 6. For who in the heavens can be compared to the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened to the Lord? Next verse. God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be held in reverence by all those around him. Next verse. O Lord God of hosts, who, in, who is mighty like you, O Lord? Your faithfulness also surrounds you. Give me two more verses. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. Next verse. You have broken Rahab in pieces as one who is slain. You have scattered your armies with your mighty arm. Rahab represents also a spirit, a demonic spirit of the sea. There are about three scriptures. I don't know. You can also take Isaiah 59.9. Today the Lord tell me that. The Lord was telling me that today. Isaiah 59, 9 and 10. That Rahab is not just, we know that Rahab, but the Lord have released judgment to this Rahab. So when he talks about the sea and spirits that function there, he talks about Leviathan and he talks about um, Behemoth and he talks about Rahab. So I saw that name and said, Rahab, let me go study what Rahab is. So, thank you. <laughs> When we read Revelation 12, 12, when the Lord talk about the Satan, the devil coming down to the sea and the earth, we have found that there are inhabitants under the sea. Not just fishes, not just octopuses, or nothing like that. Not just octopuses or octopus? Occupines? What? Octu what? Octupies? Occupy. <laughs> Pastor, all you set it up, man. I go and check that when I come from here. <laughs> Seriously, that one, that is, the plural of it is occupy. Okay, thanks. Some things you do not study, you just go in your pace. 
Thanks so much, though. Very much for that. So witchcraft is one of the practice of the marine realm. Witchcraft targeting humanity sexually operates from that realm. We think that incubus and succubus is just no, they function from the sea. And all of us have been targeted. Every hum human being have experienced some attack by a sexual spirit. All of us. Whether they are masked as a former lover or not, it matters not. So, <laughs> Satan has built a power base in the waters where his principalities supervise satanic oppression over people, territory, cities, and nations. But watch how Satan is a copycat. The Bible says in Psalms 104, verse 5, it says, The Lord has founded the earth upon the waters. We read that in Psalms 29, verse 3 and 10, it says, God's throne is upon the waters. So everything that God does, Satan tries to imitate. We read, right? And we have read that the Lord talk about um, destroying principalities, powers, and rulers. Not understanding that in the kingdom of light, there are principalities, there are powers, and there are rulers, but not of darkness. So he tries to copy what he have learned but only when you walk with god you can identify the trap because it sounds good but when it's tested by fire the truth you know it's not right hello somebody so the marine kingdom is one of the least understood of the three spheres or the four spheres but yet it is the most powerful of all of them why everything to make a baby <laughs> your baby is in a water sack everything you deal with listen you can last for a little while with water but without water we you know it's amazing you go in the desert right and you can die if you don't have the strength to dig because water is still on here depends on the depth so the water is there so god has given us as his children dominion over all the three or the four kingdoms we have authority over air sea our earth and the deep places where did jesus go to take back the keys where did he go the bible says he went down into the what? The heart of the earth. When he went down to and took back the keys. Why down? If Satan's kingdom is next to God's own, why didn't Jesus ascend? Satan is not worthy. How can a creation have a dominion to live next to the king? We are the ones <laughs> that have been given the authority so that the king can live in us and we can live in him. I want to surprise you all with something. Heaven is not our home, you know. We're literally passing through heaven, you know. If you think you're going there just to relax, there is a place that existed before the heavens. That place is a person. The Bible talks about in Christ. We will reside in Christ. Go and search the scriptures. Do a study and start to read about in Christ. Do a study. Do a study. When the Lord told me that, I was amazed. I said, what? He said, heaven is here. We're just saying, heaven is my home. Oh, no, 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 no. We have been told that. But now that ceiling <laughs> have been our flooring. So now we are seen beyond and we are encouraged to walk beyond. Because if God created these things, then he who existed before, that's why you can go to Japan 
and you'll go somewhere and you'll feel as if you was there before. You were there before. Could go to tell you when I went, we went to we went somewhere, I think it's Amsterdam. And when we went, I am feeling familiar with Amsterdam. And I remember what the Lord told me. He said, Anywhere you go on the earth, you'll find identification of your presence being there. I said, Lord, how? He said, when I created all of them, you were inside of me. So you saw through my eyes. There's no way on earth we can go when we find our identity with. Because we have been in God. And God chose to send us here. You all here, right? To represent him. Let me go faster. Let me go faster. Oh, let me say it. <laughs> Why are marine spirits so powerful? What gives them that power? What gives these marine spirits their power? <laughs> he loves the fish, he created it. He sees the rivers, he created them for us to enjoy. Go to the beaches and enjoy. But there was one that was cast down that have inhabited the waters. Why do you okay? Thank you. Why do you think that God have to say to the waters, thus and no further shall you go? Why God have to talk to the water? God, you created the waters. Why did God say, okay, thank you? Why did God say? I shall no longer flood the earth. The first, that Adam's flood wasn't the first flood. We know that, right? In studies, we'll do some Bible studies and you'll see. The first flood was not Adam's flood. There was a flood before. That's why in verse 2 it says that, and the earth, and in the beginning God created heaven, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the waters. Then God said, recreating, not actually bringing out that which was submerged, but that which lived before. That's why you're finding dinosaurs that are more than 50 years, 1,000 years, and all these years, they're finding bones. So we are seeing movies and we think it's just fantasy. But yet when we read, we are seeing it as a reality. Amen? Okay, so let's talk. So demons that reside beneath the waters are called Aquarius spirits or marine spirits. These demons are contacted only through witchcraft as to receive supernatural powers. Many times. Many times. Many times. There are persons who want certain powers whether to ascend to leadership in governments or whatever. Why do they go to the waters? Why to the waters? Huh? Most powerful. Because the marine kingdom is a spiritual kingdom. And it's established under the ocean. And the headquarters of the marine kingdom of Satan is said to be located beneath a certain sea. I'll not say its name. And the queen of that sea is the head of the marine kingdom. The queen, when the Bible talks about the queen of the coast, they said that that's a name of a demon that is second in command. No one, no demon is named queen of anything. Why this one is named queen? So it's a demon that is second in command. It's not about gender. It's about authority. So, <clears throat> That kingdom is highly organized. You know there is no rebellion in Satan's kingdom, right? And strategized place is a highly organized and strategized place where high technological equipments are used by high-ranking Satan. You see all these iPhone 15 and things and so on? You feel it's Bill Gates and them, whoever, Microsoft, man. You feel it's them making that, right? Their job is to always have humanity on the edge of wanting something new. 
You must never be satisfied. Before you can satisfy, I mean when I get my iPhone 11 Pro Plus, I feel like a real big boy until next month reach. <laughs> Boop, my, bu my bubble bus. <laughs> there must be what, 16 or something now? What, what are they now, the iPhone 15? Not for long, huh? <laughs> so, you must always be distracted by a desire for things. Target their finances. Target their health. Target, target their marriages. Target their children. Everything is set up to distract you from spending time with God. That's why we have to make time to spend with God. You'll never get time to pray. You have to make time to pray. That's why the Lord said, I send this vision for a reason. For me, I put up my two hands and my two foot. Having the vigil keeps you in prayer. Because you all don't see me, they don't think I'm praying. No. Because the vigil keeps you vigilant. <laughs> the village vigil in, in, invites you to a life of prayer. That's what the vigil invites us to look 18 verse 1. That man ought always to pray and not faint. So prayerlessness is fainting. So eight o'clock, let's bring it home here now. Let me find something I kept on my phone. Years ago, I'm praying and the Lord started to show me blood. Years ago, because you know I'm I born St. Paul Street. I'm praying and I'm seeing blood oozing out the hills of Lavantil. Blood oozing out the hills. At that time, my pastor at the time, prophet of God, he was in Miami. And he came and he said, Brother Thomas, I sense the Lord wants you to move from here. But I'm living at my mother's home. I'm not paying any rent. Where am I going? My mother is dead. So, the next week, a guy came to me, a guy who assists us by the equipment, like Ian, and he said to me, he said, um, you know if anybody wants somewhere to rent? I said, where? He said, well, my mom have a friend in Mount Lambert that is going mommy to live and she wants to rent a place. And the next week, I said, no, that'll be God. So I went, now, when I heard the rent, I said, okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> you ain't paying nothing. To come and play plenty. <laughs> Not even a little bit plenty. Two and three zeros. <laughs> was 25. So when I told my leader, I thank God for his discernment. He said, I know his God wanted to move from there. He said, so I'm going to pay for you. They, my friends from the church, you know we are in that. I'm going to pay for you for six months to stay. So he'll move out from there. The place of my birth. From the time I moved out of there, within two months, where I'm living there, there were platform. Men, men was coming there and shooting from there. From there down the road. So I left just in time because I, I would not have allowed that and then they would have to kill me or to kill them. So the Lord just took me out of there just in time. Just in time. So I'm seeing this blood over the hills. And the Lord said, I want you to go and search the history of love until. For time's sake, I'll say that some things. I'll not go to it. You know, 17 or sometime, when the Spaniards came, they put up a fort up on the hills of love until. They call it, um, at the time, they called the hills. Um, it had such a, if you go up in Labantel Hills, listen. Beautiful to look all around in Labantel Hills. But when the guy, the guy from Spain, I have his name, I ain't going to all of that now. He set up some gun towers. Instead of setting up the gun towers to face the sea in error. The contours were set up to face Lavender. 
It's one of the first things that happened. The slaves were freed, were freed, not freed, freed. Fred is a name, Fred is a. Are you going to tell me nothing now? Well, Vernel. I correct, right? <laughs> so, when they, they had the Amerindians, they had. I have some names here. Let me write it. They had the Amerindians, they had um, the Caribs, they had. Um, go ahead, let tell me now. Arawaks, go ahead. Well, there's some more names than that, but, but you all know what I'm talking about, right? And 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 when they did that, when they oh look at here, they had the Mandingo tribe, they had the Igbo tribe, they had the Yoruba people, they had the Krumen people. But the Mandingo and the Igbo and they were farmers. But then they had the Yoruba tribe and this, this tribe were drummers. Then the, the Caribs, they had a tribe there that used to what they used to do? Eat people. So love until is not just what you're seeing now there is a foundation that I've been laid. But what I have found from God is that when the pirates came, and let me write the name down, they have named it another name before love until. As a name to do with blood and murder. I just didn't think I was so kind of. So, love until. The blood we are seeing that is taking place in Lavantil, it comes from the sea. The marine spirits. The blood that is happening in Beetham and sea lots, sea lots, come somewhere. We have found that in Carney, <laughs> there's a river that they bring up Anyhow, yeah, <laughs> you never know who's watching. So, there are rivers and swamps that feed murder, Mearo, Manzan, Toko. I tell you, I'm in Toko. My grand, my uncle used to live there. I'm in Toko with my own eyes. Going down to the beach the morning, six o'clock, bed. Passes in the bush. A boat came up. How many bush? A boat came up. These three light skinned guys came. A black guy came. And I'm seeing them passing the guns. Or oh, you know, Pastor holding on to the ground real close, right? Pastor, I want you to move. Because I'm there by myself. And I'm and I just because we don't understand that in olden days they never move any item by the air it was always by land or by sea slaves were taken by land or by sea sea, sea was the fast way so the sea the enemy knows and use that do you know that seas and ports are gateways they are doors into nations who man's the door okay the bible says bring every thought into captivity for us to do that we have to become gatekeepers the thoughts that are coming we have to choose which we will keep because the thoughts will come so in the same way as a gatekeeper that you are protecting you it's the same way that the enemy of place principalities as gatekeepers. Men who are behind filthy lucre. In the airport, how many things pass? In the last couple of years, how many containers left the port that they find empty outside? Look, you see what they pour there. And what do they do with them? <laughs> many containers, every time around Christmas time or whenever, containers leave the port 
with all documentation. How come, right? We have so many resources. We have Air Guard, we have Coast Guard, and yet we had an invasion of illegal immigrants here. Why? So nobody needs enough food then. So the Lord said on Thursday, he said, I want to tell you something. You have asked. Now, you come down the mountain, tell the nation of Trinidad and Tobago, let all believers start to take authority over every marine spirit of murder that operates in your community. Whether it's murder or not, you take authority over every marine spirit in the community you live in. And when you feel that God will leave you, lead you otherwise. So he said, this is the answer. He says, when the church, my body rises up and starts to take authority, then you will see a great decrease in the murders in the land. Because men are not just killing, they are, in, they are led by demonic spirits. Altars erected. Souls marked for death souls mark for that but when we pray we can erase those markings we can break that assignment hello somebody our own lives the limitations of our lives we don't understand the impact i'll go further in this some more not now but the impact of marine spirits in our lives that stifles our growth that frustrates our efforts that brings the fatigue and tiredness upon us without you laboring but you want to sleep longer and longer and longer and yet you're not rested oh church him according to Daniel who reveals secrets has given us the secret to take our land is released into us that way which men may think is simple it is not the lord has given us the answers so that his revival and glory shall can descend in trinidad and tobago how many of us will say yes to god how many of us will commit to pray because until many times we wait for it to come into our house we wait for it that it might be too late because your praying time might be over you could become a casualty but the kingdom of heaven suffers violence now it's time for us the church to take it by force it is time the hour is here when the church must arise when men and women of God might make hobo shop where they shall see one place and then realize you are another place it's a time where we learn to translate by faith everybody stand please everybody stand we have limited ourselves too much we have walked Himana. We have walked in the errors. Lemani Gota. When everybody to pray, Mamande Kana. Nebeshi Mamana. We want to take authority over the principality. What we're going to do? Oh Lord, I said, my book away. Manebo Shakanda. Let me out. Let me. My iPad. My iPad. The boat, the boat. Across the earth now, the the then president of Ghana. I want to read some mail, Tibo. Thank you. Shamenda Kino Lokitaya. The then president of Ghana. Let me find it. Shabele Keto Imanale. Bangbokoto. He repented as a nation. He repented for the nation allowing. Uh, uh, marine spirits uh, and mud and all these things that take place I can't find it now my spirit to charge but I'll read it another time and this man when he come he said as the president of this land I take full responsibility God I repent 
Uh, we repent as a nation for allowing God these altars to be erected in our land. I repent God for allowing murders from our ancestors to continue. And that man repented and now Uganda. Uganda, I can't remember. I think it's Uganda or Ghana. One of them, all over, the type of anointing is here. It's so rich. That where Papa from? Duncan. So everyone pray. Prayers as the Lord leads you. We want desperate prayers. Men who understand that tonight it could be me. That tomorrow it could be me. Let her coach Amanda. Medeosha. It could be my son, my daughter. It could be my husband, my wife. But we are not sitting idle. We are the generation that will welcome the Lord. The Lord is sharing the mysteries and the treasuries of his kingdom. Nothing shall remain locked as we stand surrender. As an army of God, we are rising into our true identity. Pray. Kahina. Living God today as a nation, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. there's a flag right below there. Okay. Okay. We represent, I pray to the God that you allow those who are in total surrender to taste the soil of this land. Living God, you have promised greatness to us as a nation. You say that you do nothing in the earth unless you first share it with your servants, the prophets. Lord, many of us, you have placed us prophets in this land. You have marked us for greatness. You have got Makesh Shabahanda. Lord, you have called us you have identified us you have sent us we have been sent for this generation come on pray we have been sent for this hour no problem we have been sent go Nerigola Riketili Shemela Bon Rukusha Holy Agabosh Rikitila Mat Sande Namekadu Yanda Dikushala Katilia Zandi Kurakatala Brikitili Mananaya Ila Kirikili Marikili Brini Nananaya Pray 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 to Rukushala Bilili Mani Kotanale Manakili Ramanda We are Bihopai The Lord has placed us the leader generation I am the Lord has given us a mantle. He has placed a rod and a sword in our hands. He made us a command. What we are seeing is just a speck. They are coming from the nations. Many are rising that shall come and be under the umbrella of Behopai. Behopai, we are the foundation stones that are being laid a people to carry a generation. We are here to reclaim. We are here to take back. We are here to subdue. We are here to subjugate the coast of Trinidad and Tobago. That's a Kondahika. We are here to break uh, the very influences uh, of Leviathan, uh, that which Leviathan uh, has stolen from us, uh, that which Leviathan uh, has blocked uh, our eyes uh, from seeing, uh, that which is released uh, upon uh, the young generation, uh, our children, uh, the spirit uh, of hostility, uh, the spirit the spirit of greed, the spirit of loss, the spirit of aggression, the spirit of disrespect. 
prevalent which is prevalent in my generation which is prevalent in the generation before me which is prevalent in the generation after me the embracing of sexual immorality the degradation of man the depravity of spirituality of righteousness tonight oh god we fight back we push back against the forces Mahila. of Zion, Sabena. influences in the name of jesus serene, brand in the name of Jesus, we have accepted it for too long. But tonight, oh God, veils and scales yes. are removed from our eyes. In the name where the warriors, Jesus, where are the sons of God in this house, repent, oh no, repent, oh Conella, we have accepted it. With violence, we move tonight. With violence, all generations that are set upon to destroy us and our generation. Yes, God. We command yes. every Leviathan in the name of Jesus to collapse now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every Leviathan spirit yes. that has rewired the mindset of our children. The mindsets of our minds, where we have accepted yes. Shakina standard, is not honorable Mohona. by God. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus, we collapse those yes. No, tonight, in the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus, the spirit of Kotoya and Rebena, Sandoko Noria, yes, source. yes, God, Hey, Kedina. We know the cause of dysfunctional homes, disruption of marriages and family life. In the name of Jesus, now we take authority over every offering of evil that have been given to the seas whether swamps or rivers in Trinidad and Tobago yes, now Lord. we speak by the authority of God Shin we burn every demonic we offering burn. by the authority we of burn. God we disrupt we every burn. altar under we the waters burn. in the name of in Jesus name where of we have Jesus. visited altars in our dreams to bring terror we to burn. us in the name in of the Jesus name of we Jesus. destroy the altars under the rivers, under the seas, under the, seas, under the swamps, we, we destroy it now. Burn, 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 in the name of Jesus. Shana, every generation altar, by a ton, which is in our bloodline that has been sent to destroy us and our children, our children, children now. We collapse those altars. Rubbish. We with the fire of God. Yes, God. We command those liquids to dry up now. Rabone. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Every food hey. and every drink hey. that came from marine spirits. Marine part of weather dreams. Hey. Weather trances or hey. visions. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. We destroy the food. We, we destroy, destroy the drinks. Now. We command. The curses. Break. Break the curses. Break. We break the curses. We break the curses. We break the curses now. In the name of Jesus. Every mark of prostitution by Leviathan powers and altars. We are the warriors. Every serpent. We are sons of God. Inside Ramando of us. That has bound yes. our womb. The earth is the Lord. He has founded it upon the seas. We have authority over the seas and poison inside of us. From the seas, we burn 
your powers now. In the name, in of, the Jesus, name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, every marine spirit that have affected our marriages, no reach, that have come into our marriages, that have caused conflict, that have caused abandonment, that have caused delay, that have caused barnness, that have caused barnness. by the authority of God, we break the power of every marine spirit in our marriages now. We bind you, loose your hold. Loose your hold. Sexual promiscuity. Sexual immorality. Uncontrolled. Sexual We are in war. It's war tonight. It's war. My master. Power of freedom. It's war. Break your power. The money go now. Thank you. No. No. You have set me to be sexually immoral. Yes, you God. have set us up. Yes, God. As strength, prostitutes. Yes. As prostitutes. Yes. Break the powers now in the name of Jesus. Right. So we go back now to our childhood. Jump a little bit, Sam. Jump a little bit. Little bit. We go back to our childhood. Every baptism. Every baptism as a baby under the power of waters that does not represent the living God. We command the curses of that break. No, we pick up. We bind familiar spirits. We bind familiar spirits. No, loose your hole. Loose your hole. Loose your hole. That is sprinkled the on our forehead. Every water that was given to us to drink. Yes, by the authority of God. In the name of Jesus. Ramande Sakata. Every limitation placed upon our lives because of occultic altars from waters. In the name of Jesus. We destroy the boundaries. Command the boundaries. Burn no in the name of Jesus. Burn, 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 burn. We burn the oil. Burn, burn. We release fire. Rasha kata kamanda. Repesha. Mamendo kona. We release fire. We do a rooting, we do a cutting. I can't never let it go. Let him have a little bit. Shambali Kotala, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Remandiashi, Remandiashi, Remandeha. Every limitation, you're always getting close, but you are not crossing over. Every spirit of Pisca that came from the waters that have kept us from crossing over we are not breaking through all around is failure and limitation we bind that spirit we break that curse no break break now in the name of Jesus every witch of altar of marine we walk in ancient pathways tonight. We walk in the ancient pathways tonight. We walk among the mysteries tonight. Repesha, the secrets kept for us. We access these secrets tonight. Tonight, Hey! Cut off uh, the tentacles uh, of the octopus. Ah, uh, Katene, uh, to suppress the hey. uh, oppress. Uh, we cut it off. We burn it off. In the name hey. of Jesus. We destroy the boundaries. Of the in the name of Jesus. 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 We destroy ah, your powers ah, yeah. now. We strip we you, bind you. We strip lose you of your, your jewels. We strip you of your rings. We strip you of your bands. We strip you of your jewels. We your toy. 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 We
We command you uh, to come out. Uh, we eject Shale. you now. Be Shale. ejected now. Hey. Hey. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is deliverance in the shout. Somebody shout hallelujah. We call the rest. It's your breath to shout hallelujah. We call the super. For your children shout hallelujah. For your marriages, shout hallelujah. For your destinies, shout hallelujah. Somebody shout. Hallelujah. 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 Oh Lord, Hallelujah. We'll see the changes from tonight. Some of our kongs by Tuesday morning. Some of us tomorrow, some of us Monday. But by Tuesday morning, many of our kongs will change. Because there have been powers that have been sitting on your finances. But now we have read it. We have read Katabasha. We have read it. We have read Shandela. We have read it. Daughters. We have read Tatea. We have read it. We do a complete scraping. Let a purification done be done tonight, Lord. Let a purification by fire, by fire, come and dry up the liquids, dry up the waters, dry up the muddy waters of Leviathan. Swing wide the gates and let the King of Glory come in. Who is the King of Glory? 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 The Lord God, strong and mighty. Yes, it's the Lord God. It's the Lord God. The Lord God, strong and mighty, in our midst. Hallelujah! Somebody shout, Hallelujah! Somebody shout, Hallelujah! You have received tonight, shout, Hallelujah! 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 Glory to God! Ah, come on, share the high fives. Oh Lord, there's an anointing that is transferring. Share the high fives. Share the high fives. There's anointing transferring. Pastor Jamal, share the high fives. There's anointing transferring. There's a nakebosha. There's a spiritual transfer. There's a shakenere. Raban bakano. There's a spiritual transfer. Hey, yakana. Hey, shada. Shamano gobela. There's a spiritual transfer. Bekati kone. Rebe shabanda. Shabande kanalora. Aye pesh. Arise, oh God. Arise, oh God. Let all your enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout freedom! Shout freedom! Somebody shout hallelujah! Glory to God. You may have your seats. Thank you. Oh Lord. Where you are? Wait, wait, wait. Freedom. Freedom is yes. ours. Yes. We're taking it tonight. We're taking it. We're taking it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Deliverance came to some of us tonight. Thank yes. God yes. for Jesus always. Hallelujah. Communion team.
Aleluya. Aleluya, Lord. We, we bless your name tonight. You are good always, mighty God. And we just want to give you thanks tonight. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my belly shall flow. Out of my belly, out of my belly, shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Out of my belly, shall flow.
have all been served. Everybody served. Hallelujah. So we, we go in tonight and we want to give the Lord thanks tonight for his unfailing love, his unfathomable love because he paid a price that neither one of us could have paid. And Father, we just want to give you thanks tonight for your body, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, Father, that was bruised, battered, pierced, oh, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, as you were broken for us, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we, mighty God and Lord, we shall live for you in the name of Jesus. Partake, please. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, as, as your side was pierced, mighty God and Lord, that your blood flowed, mighty God, out of you in the name of Jesus. Father, so shall we live for you, mighty God. And Father, as this wine represents your blood tonight, oh dear God, Father, your blood that seals it saves it delivers mighty god and lord father we partake tonight as we drink of you odin oh dear lord and god in the mighty name of jesus drink in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah blessed be your name tonight mighty god facebook zoom youtube we thank you for being here with us and I'm sharing with, with us tonight in the name of Jesus. So meet back here on, on, on Monday night, Wednesday night, Thursday evening and back again Saturday for all our services. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.